All model elements in Revit have assembly code and assembly description type parameters. You can specify a uniformat assembly code and the read-only assembly description parameter will update to match the assigned code. These parameters can be used to tie building model components to specification systems. However, you must first select an assembly code file. The default assembly code file is based on the hierarchical list of uniformat codes assigned by RS means, but you can update this file as needed. First, to see these parameters, select a wall and then click Edit Type in the Properties palette. Under the Identity Data section, you can see the assembly code and assembly description parameters. Click in the Assembly Code field and then click the More button to open the Choose Assembly Code dialog. Here, you can select the assembly code by expanding the branches and selecting the appropriate code and description. Click OK to close each of the dialogs and then deselect the wall. In order to change the assembly code file, switch to the Manage ribbon. Then expand the Additional Settings button and choose Assembly Code. Revit displays the Assembly Code Settings dialog. Realize that the file path can be set to Absolute, Relative, or At Library Locations. At Library Locations is only available when the file location is mapped to a library location. Click Browse to open the Browse for Assembly Code File dialog. Then you can search for the assembly code file that you want to use. In the exercise files for this chapter, there is a uniformat assembly code file that you can use. Click Cancel to close the dialog. When the file path is set to Absolute, Revit will look for the assembly code file in a specific folder located on your local PC or a network server. However, when the file path is set to Relative, Revit will look for the assembly code file where the project file or central model is located. If that file is moved to a new location, Revit expects the assembly code file to move to this new location as well. When an assembly code file is specified, you can click View to open the assembly code dialog to see the assembly codes and descriptions. You can drill down into some of the codes while others are not as detailed. Click Close to return to the assembly code settings dialog. If a change is made to the assembly code file, click Reload to reload any changes that were made, as this will not happen automatically with text files.